Hey everyone, it's Laura. Welcome to Mask Monday. It is Memorial Day. I hope you're all having a wonderful Memorial Day. Um, enjoying your day off if you are off and just reflecting on what the day is about. Um, I am off today. Ricky unfortunately has to work, so we're not doing like any barbecuing or anything like that. So just filming Mask Monday. I'm going to do some stuff around the house and relax. That's my plan for the day. So, which is always better than going to work. <laughs> so I'm not mad about it. Um, the mask I'm doing today, I got from Miss Andy. Andy does stuff. This face to sun bay mask because I got a little sunburned yesterday just on my hairline right here. I, Ricky had a baseball game and I reapplied my sunscreen several times. I made sure I got my ears and my neck because I was wearing a t-shirt, you know, my arms, my feet. But I must have missed the spot. So there's just like a little red stripe right here. So I'm using this to kind of help soothe that a little bit. Because this is an aloe soothing mask. It says, time to go out and have some fun in the sun. Become the ultimate sun bay with our soothing mask. Using a rayon sheet material and the best blah, 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 blah. Soothe your skin. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So it's an aloe mask. It's very, very nice and soothing. And then on my eyes, I have these. Um, eye masks that I got from Miss Brenda Bolt, one of my lovely subscribers. And these are Spa Scription Cucumber Eye Masks. So I am having a relaxing <laughs> day. Um, don't have much to talk about or show. Um, I'll show you real quick. My, If you saw me um, open that Fenty Beauty drop box, they called it. It was um, is it 29 or 39 $39, I believe. I already forgot how much it was. Um, and it's supposed to have five full-size items in it, but I didn't realize that until after I filmed. It had a mini mascara. It was supposed to be a full-size. Either way, it's still like way over. A, the value is $140. Yeah, it was $39, including shipping. Then you just pay tax. But, you know, it was still a great value, even with the small mascara. But I thought, you know, I'm supposed to get a full-size, so I'm going to message them. They have a chat thing, kind of like Ipsy does or Boxy, where you don't, you don't even send an email. It's a chat window and it's a bot. Um, and it didn't reply to me. I just, it just said, what is the problem? And, and I told, you know, I told it <laughs> that I was supposed to get a full site item and I got a mini and I sent a picture and then the bot replied back and said, what is your order number? And I gave them my order number and then they asked for my name and my, I think my email address, I gave them that. And then I didn't hear back and I replied back, hello. And I heard nothing. And I left the window open for like 10 minutes just in case, closed it out, was kind of annoyed. And the next day I got a shipping notification. <laughs> so they sent it to me in this big old box. Um, so yeah, they just, well, actually I got a, a notice saying my order had shipped and I'm like, what order? Cause I didn't order anything. And then I read the description and it said that it was the mascara, so. It's in this giant box for one little mascara, which I'm assuming is inside here. Yep, there it is. So I got my mascara, so yay. So I will be putting the sample size one in a future giveaway. So yeah, it's the Fenty uh, Mascara Full Frontal Volume Lash and Curl Mascara in black. So awesome customer service. I, you know, I wish the bot had replied back and said, we're taking care of it for you. But I can't be mad that I got what I, you know, what my goal was. I messaged them Wednesday evening. It shipped Thursday. I had it on Saturday. So that's how fast it was. So I was very, very impressed. If they ever do another one of those drop boxes, I will definitely order directly from them again. So there's my full-size mascara. I was really happy about that. Um, I ordered from the Boxy Charm Mega Drop Shop. So I have a, one of my orders came in. I placed two. <laughs> One of my orders came in, so I'll be filming that and put that up tomorrow. Um, the other one hasn't shipped yet, but I'm assuming I'll get it soonish. So that's exciting. Two smallish orders, um, but you know I'm not a boxy member, and they still let me shop the. They don't let me shop the regular drop shops all the time, but it seems like the mega ones they let me shop. So I said, "What the heck? I'm going to take advantage of that." And if you guys are interested, there's tons and tons of sales right now from you know because it's Memorial Day. Um, ColourPop is 30% off. Um, Juvia's Place has a sale on a lot of their palettes. Um, Shop Miss A has 11% off. Um, what was the other one I was going to mention? Ice Cream Beauty has, you can get the May Box for $19.99 if you're not already a member. 
So I will drop the, um, the link for them. It's not an affiliate link, uh, but there's a code you have to use. I'll put that in the description box below. Um, I've been good. I didn't really buy, I, I shouldn't say I didn't buy anything. I, I ordered some stuff on Amazon yesterday. I need some new bras. <laughs> and they have, if you have Prime, they have certain things that you can do the try before you buy, or I don't remember exactly what they call it. But they send it to you, and then you get seven days to try it. They don't bill you until after that time. Um, and then if anything doesn't work, then you can return it. So I did that. Um, and the order is coming, I think, tomorrow. I just ordered it yesterday on Sunday. So, um, yeah. So I thought that was kind of cool. So I will try everything on. And then I'm assuming there must be a way of telling them what you're returning and what you're not returning because you have the seven days, unless they don't bill you until after they get everything back. That I'm not really sure. Um, there was instructions, but I didn't read them yet. <laughs> I'll read it once I get the items. So yeah, So and I ordered not just bras, a couple of bras and some like, I think, uh, gosh, I don't remember some shorts maybe. I don't even remember. And it was just yesterday. And then I ordered from Maurice's because they had a big sale. Imagine that. So that is coming uh, probably towards the end of this week because the shorts that I got from Old Navy did not fit as I suspected. So I have to return them. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to tell you guys. So Ricky um, is playing baseball again. As I mentioned last week was his first game with his new team, the Trash Pandas. <laughs> and they won last week 10 to 7. So that was awesome. Um, they played yesterday and they did not win, <laughs> but they got their butts kicked 17 to zero. <laughs> it was painful. It's not that his team made a lot of mistakes, like, um, made a lot of errors or anything like that. They just couldn't, they weren't hidden for squat. Um, he only got to bat once. He's like, you know, a designated hitter or whatever. So, and he struck out, but he also didn't get to bat till the last inning. So by then it's like, you're not warmed up anymore and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's fine. He didn't score the last out. So that's all he really cared about. <laughs> he scored, scored the, or got the second to last out. <laughs> but, you know, I was like, well, don't feel bad. I mean, you guys were down by 17 runs. It's not like you were going to save the team. even if you got on base, there was no one else on base when he went up to bat. So, um, and they have a mercy rule with this league. It was only the, I think it was the seventh inning, but because they were so far behind, they, I think by the seventh inning, if you're down by more than 10 runs, they call the game. So they told them, if you can score 10 round or 10 runs this inning, then you can play to nine innings. <laughs> well, they didn't score any, so the game ended early. It was kind of funny, but we still had fun. Um, there was music playing, um, and some people had like food that they were selling like tacos and stuff we didn't we didn't have any of that though and the best part though was there was a puppy there was a four month old golden retriever and it was so sweet a little boy i didn't get what his name was but i put my hand out and he you know was like slobbering all over me kind of mouthed my fingers a little bit but oh it was he was so soft it was like petting a i don't know a ball of cotton or something. It was just so sweet and hyper as all get out because he's four months old. It was super windy. So anytime the wind blew like a stick in front of him or a leaf, he'd go running after it and try to, you know, bite it. And he's one of his teammates' dogs. So I'm hoping he'll be at more games. So I'm going to post, insert a picture here of the puppy. Not the best picture because he wouldn't hold still because he's a puppy and he had so much energy. But he was so cute. And I think... Our next game, depending on the weather, we'll probably bring Coco. Um, she loves to watch Ricky play baseball. We didn't bring her this week because he played at a different field. And this field doesn't have a, like a nice grassy area where we were sitting. It was like on the concrete. And I, I just, you know, if it's, it wasn't that hot. It was you know, mid seventies, but I'd rather have her sit somewhere where there's, you know, with me where there's grass. Cause she won't just sit in my lap the whole time. She likes to jump down and sniff and, I didn't like the idea of her walking around on concrete and it's really dusty at that field too. So anyway, um, this mask, it's said to keep it on for 15 to 20 minutes. And I actually had it on for a good five to 10 minutes before I started filming. So I could probably take it off. And then let's see the eye patches. Um, uh, also 15 minutes. 
This one, the patches says to rinse off the remaining serum. I've never noticed that before. This one does not say to rinse. So I will take these off and then I will go rinse off my under eyes. I don't know how you just rinse that, but one always stays on the mask and one always stays on my face every single time I do this. That's so funny to me. <laughs> anyway, all right, so I'm going to go rinse off my under eye area and rub this in. I don't know if you guys can see my little, just a teeny little bit of sunburn, like right there. I'm, I'm very fair skinned, so I am super diligent slash anal about applying sunscreen. I put on my um, regular moisturizer as SPF 30, and then I had SPF 40 with me. So, and I was reapplying it every like 30 minutes, but I just must have missed this one little spot. <sighs> so anyway, thank you so much, Andy, for the mask. It came in super handy today. <laughs> I remembered that I had an aloe mask. I was like, sweet. <laughs> and thank you, Brenda, for the eye patches. They actually felt really, really soothing, but I'm going to go rinse off the excess like they said to do. So hope everybody is having a great Monday and a great Memorial Day and that you're doing something to treat yourself today. And I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.